That chance for Whiteman coming to meet the ball deeply at a minute ago. Strong arms his way through. High kick towards half forward. Brereton from behind. Juggled attempt at the mark. It came off the hands of the man in front, Lester Smith, first. And the umpire decides he wants to ball it up. I thought that could have been a free kick against deeply at a minute ago then. Well, he brushed it off arm. nicely, didn't straight he? Straight arm. I, yes, it was. There's the bounce. One down by Madden, taken by Williams, feeds it out to Mullane. Mullane, who's been a quiet player, goes in short and finds Morwood on the 50-metre line. Now, he has the breeze behind him. It's a swirling breeze at this end of Subiaco Oval because of the configuration of the stands. But a goal here is not out of the question. This is the ideal spot to shoot from. Morwood, long kick, and now the breeze will pick it up and push it through, but... The accuracy wasn't there, so behind a Victoria, they start the scoring in this final term, 12-11 to 15-10. Ross Glendinning, a little indecisive. Miles perhaps offers the best lead. Glendinning sees that now and goes out towards Miles. Deepia Domenico read it well. He came down to cut it out. Miles leads back in the race, though, tries to knock it onto the advantage of Narkel. Narkel lacks support out there. He's surrounded by Victorians, but he's getting a free kick. Uh, the the man. Talk about soft free kicks. I thought that was one of them. Phil Narkel on the other side, as you can see, a player who's at the highest honour here in Western Australia. Kick goes around the other side, off hands a chance for Waitman. Waitman can't control the ball, now he's in trouble. Claimed by Black, well that's holding that's the hold. ball. Good Obviously. decision. Yes. Good decision that time by the umpire. So it's Black will driving it over the half forward line. Oh, knocked out by Danaher. Picked up that time by Satori. Back it goes to Peak, over to Rioli. Back it goes, it was a good hand pass. Soccer's tactics that time to Satori from Peak. Back to Blackwell, hooks the ball back towards the full forward position. It'll be, be a kick. It'll be a free uh, kick down. Feel he was knocked out. He kicked at that time. Well, that's a crucial mistake, I think. By oh, the bad because mistake, the Victoria. This gives uh, Macanaro with taking the kick, and I don't think you could wish for anybody safer. And it's uh, pretty close in. It's only about uh, 25 metres out. Probably about 30 metres by the time he kicks the ball. But they're in front now by 17 points. And they're kicking against the breeze. This will be a vital goal for West Australia. This will give them a lot of confidence. There it is, a goal. And that's a bad start for Victoria. Three goals to Bacanara. And started off quietly. Of course, Victoria have lost Carroll. A sad blow to the Swans up there in Sydney. I know that because he's had a great season. But Victoria well, this... really in the hot seat at the moment. We didn't quite catch the tail end of that... Uh infringement over on, against the West Australian player, Blackwell. He was uh, knocked after he kicked the ball. Well, that's a bad mistake. Set a bounce again. Ball pushed out now to Williams. He actually threw that one, didn't he? But it went to Healy. Back it goes to Alvin. A chance for Victoria to go into attack. Over there, half forward on Taylor. Got one on the back. The umpire spotted that. Now, Taylor would be about 40 metres out from goal. And if Victoria ever need a goal, this is it. Into this quarter now by uh, just on uh, four minutes. And Victoria trailing 83 to 106. That's a 23-point deficit. So it's not up to Taylor now. He's already kicked three goals. It's a vital kick for the Victorian full forward. He'll be kicking from about 40 metres out. The angle not uh, very acute at all. But the crowd getting, trying to blow it away from the goals. But that's a beautiful kick and a goal. Last year, the professionals were the number one home sellers in... 106 to 89. Harding comes in for Western Australia. One out by Madden, taken by Mullane. The hand pass, not a particularly good one. It's picked up by Mitchell. Mitchell inside the centre square. Fires it long towards half forward. Satori brilliantly works his way to the front. Yes, he's the last takes, cab off the rank there, wasn't he? Takes the strong mark, feeds it to Rioli into the path of Peak. Knocked away by Danaher, the two captains there. Danaher comes away with it, drives it along the grandstand wing. Good kick, finds Healy, runners inside. What will Healy do? Draws a man, pops it over the top, taken by Morwood. Waitman inside him. That's the direction the hand pass takes. Waitman, one bounce, measures it now. 50 metres out. There goes the kick. Straight through the middle. Goal, Victoria. Their 14th, 14-11. Western Australia, 16-10. Well, that was a brilliant passage of play by Victoria from the moment that Dan and her knocked that ball away from Peak. I must confess, I thought Peak was in position to mark it. He didn't. And Dan and her recovered best. And from the moment uh, he got possession, onto Healy. And then uh, no trouble at all for Morwood to pop it over to Waitman, who was the man that kicked the goal. And he, as we said before, with Royal, have formed a very, very formidable pair of rovers for Victoria. Five and a half minutes played. Daniel Waitman. Madden opposed to Harding. 
One down by Madden, taken by Baker. High up and under. Fisted forward by Davidson. Well, in the wrong direction, but Davidson got his hand in there. Rioli's kick goes down towards half forward. Thompson in the way, surrounded by West Australians. Well played, Thompson. Knocks it out of the pack, showing a lot of courage was Moorwood. Mullane goes in. He's grabbed by a couple of West Australians. They tie it up. There'll be a bounce. Out towards left centre wing for Western Australia, who lead it 16-10 to 14-11. Six minutes gone, final term. 11 points. That <clears throat> the difference between uh, these two sides in favour of Western Australia. Knocked out by Madden. Oh, oh, bad bounce. This allows uh, Victoria to go further forward through Royal. Played a great game and a beautiful pass. And Brereton's got it about 30 metres out from goal. So oh. the Vic's really bouncing back. Most unfortunate bounce there. Dean yes. Lately did the right thing and the ball... Went the wrong way. Just went the, not much you can do about that, Lou. Certainly not, uh, Eric. We're waiting now on Brereton to kick this goal to make the difference five points and give Victoria a real chance because they're coming home with a pretty strong breeze. I think they caught the Fremantle doctor, don't they? Uh, this the one's kick. coming from the other way, mate. It's coming the other way tonight, is it? I don't yes, know much about it. When you're in the market for a used car, Van... The difference. Matt knocks the ball out. Not a good one. A fumble that time. It comes back to Williams. He's got it. Can't get out. He finally gets it out to D.P. at Manico. A long kick over the half-forward line. Browder! Oh. Well, this fellow, as I said before, once he lets himself go, he can win a game within three or four minutes. Well, he's uh, done nothing for two quarters, but he's already kicked the goal at the beginning of the last, and uh, from 45 metres out dead in front, he could put Victoria in front for the first time since the early moments of the game. That was a marvellous mark, wasn't it? Was it? Brereton steers through another one. That's his third, and Victoria lead it. 16-11 to 16-10. We've played seven and a half minutes in this final quarter. Well, it's almost too sudden to comprehend. It was only, what, five minutes ago, West Australia were four goals in front. And good body use on that occasion by Burton, who now has Lester Smith as an opponent. And through goes his third, as Dennis said, and uh, Victoria in front. Well, a long way to go, but Victoria certainly has got the run on at the moment. Keen back on the ground for West Australia. Yes, Harding is off. And now the test, decidedly, with Western Australia. They trail by a point, up against the breeze, but the crowd is behind them as Miles kicks towards half forward for the West. Leading back is Purdy, hasn't had a good day, left the ball behind, so Tory sockers it away into open space. Coming to meet the ball is Baker, Baker chips in short, looking for Buccanara, knocked away by Pert. Well played and Pert goes again and crashes the ball out of bounds. On the fall, that's bad luck. Kick to be taken by Buccanara out there, Gary Buccanara. Midway between right centre wing and right half forward. Not much on offer, going for distance. Some tired players out on this ground now. Big pack into the air, off hands. A chance for Victoria to bring it away. Kennedy trying to crash his way through. But scrambled out of defence eventually around the outer side by Folds. And the mark is taken by this man, Waitman. He's away, gets it across towards Deeply Domenico. Down goes Waitman. He was pushed in the back. He'll take a free kick. Lucky to get away with that, uh, Dale Waitman. Yes, Waitman on the outer side wing. Chips it in short, looking for Williams. Hardy read it brilliantly and drifts across to take the defensive mark. WA desperately require the next goal. And Williams anxious to hang on to the ball. 15 metres against him. Another 15. He likes to give away that professional free kick occasionally. 15 metres, doesn't he? Williams, there goes the kick towards the outer side. And the mark is taken cleverly out there by Wilson, who now is confronted with a situation where he can run. Swings it back across his body. Finds Narkel. That was intelligent football. Narkel spears it down. It was the pocket. Bacanara. And Bacanara is marked within scoring range, but the breeze will be coming across his body. I just wonder whether Narkel, who could have gone on and had a shot for goal, is within the 50-metre circle on the full run. He's now presented Bacanara with a very, very awkward angle to shoot at. Victoria in front by a point as uh, Bacanara comes in for the kick. Oh, that's a magnificent oh. goal, a real pressured goal. It's a giant price crush. We're just over the 10-minute mark. There's an infringement, a free kick. It'll go to West Australia. So it'll be the big fella Keane, who's done a great job here today. Short pass. Is it dangerous? Yes, oh, a bad one. This allowed Harps to get through and a long kick. Back there over the half four line. Punched away by Waitman. Nearly grabbed the mark as he went after it again. They pile on top of him. There's three. They're not letting him get away. And the umpire will ball it up around about the 50 metre mark. I hate to be critical of Keane, Lou, but that was quite a foolish kick, wasn't it? it certainly was. Salmon against Keane, knocked out by Keane, grabbed uh, that time by Davison over to Wilson, went between his legs, that gave Malena a break, and a hand pass coming out to Royal, straightens up, and another goal to Victoria, and Victoria back in front again. Well, it's his fourth goal too, Dale Waitman, fifth 
make it five. Five goals to Royal. He's played a superb game here today. A good hand pass by Mullane. Well, that's the third time the lead has changed hands in the last uh, three or four minutes. So I suppose from a WA point of view, you'd hope it's at least once more. Just on the 12th minute mark and uh, Victoria back in front by a point. They've got a long way to go before they win the championship. Knocked out by Madden. As they go now, uh, fresh air shot that time by Wilson. He's played a pretty good game. He sunk the slipper in then too as Rioli comes out with the ball. Beautiful play by Rioli. Hooks it back to centre half forward. And oh, that ought to be a mark to Mitchell. Oh, he played it. Don't believe oh, it. unbelievable. Listen to the crowd going mad. It's Harms getting it back. And a mark taken here by Morwood. Well, he'd have to be absolutely blind. Oh, I thought that was that. a mark. Absolutely ridiculous. The worst decision of the day. Morwood's got the ball, chips it out wide. Williams inside range now. He'd only be about 45 metres from goal. So Williams with a chance to kick one here for Victoria. We'll see how quickly he can change. Now, this is the mark from Rioli, or the kick from Rioli, which Mitchell clearly marked. Make no mistake about that. And there it is. Well, if that's oh. not a mark, I'm not sitting oh, here. That's unbelievable, it. that uh, decision. Greg Williams. A chance to stretch Victoria's lead. Long kick off target. So they lead by just two points now, 17-12 to 17-10. That's all it needs, Dennis, in a tight situation like that, a bit of luck or a bad umpiring decision or something, and that certainly was a bad umpiring decision. Approaching 13 minutes in the final term. Kick from Waterson to the outer side. No mark was taken out there. Madden leads back in the race, goes between his legs, does the ball. <laughs> Rioli just stole it from him. Rioli comes away, chips it in short, looking for Davidson. Can that turn things around? Davidson with runners outside, gets it up the top to Glenn Dinning. Inside him is Narkel. Western Australia running at the Victorian defence now as Narkel storms down Subiaco Oval. Settles 50 metres out, spears the ball into the opposite pocket. Why, I don't know. McNish leads in the race. He's confronted there by Folds. He gets around him, tries to get it back, but Danaher blankets the hand pass. Comes off the heel of Danaher. Knocked out by Peak. back towards McNish. Folds falls on him and will have a bounce, but why did Narkel go there? Well, almost identical, Dennis, to the, uh, the other occasion five minutes ago when he's well inside the 15-metre circle at full head of steam, well within kicking range. I can't understand that either. Victoria lead by two points as Satori pulls it backward at the pack. Thompson gets it to folds. The high kick, grandstand side. One-out contest. Morewood outmarked by Davidson. Superb mark by the West Australian winger. No leads on. Needs to go for distance. Lead comes now from Satori. What can he do? Launches himself into a pack, but it's going to be a Victorian free kick. Man in front will take it. That's Healy. Well, the crowd going mad, but it's a West Australian umpire that gave the decision. Healy along the grandstand side. The leaper was Miles Brerett in the better judgment. Over the top to Waitman. Trouble for Western Australia. Waitman settles. 40 metres out. Stabs goal, but goal umpire does not move. OK, so now that means that not only has Victoria got the lead by, uh, what's that, eight points, ten points? Eight points. They've also got some chance, I believe, Dennis, with time coming up to the 14.5-minute mark of the quarter. They need another couple of goals break on WA. Not to say the West Australia, of course, can't come back and win. Centre bounce again, just on the 15-minute mark. Victoria in front. Of, uh, they're in front by eight points. Centre bounce. It'll be uh, going for the knockout. Keen against uh, Big uh, Madden. Madden got that one down. Healy couldn't get clear. He was well grabbed that time by Blackwell, and the umpire will board it up at centre field. Victoria in front by eight points. They've certainly played a lot better this quarter and putting the pressure really on West Australia. Well, pushed out by Keane. There's nearly a free kick going to Roar, but the umpire didn't spot that. Um, uh, Alvin fumbled that it was out to Davidson. Going after it is Blackwell. He's upended, picked up well. Blackwell's got it again, but they pounce off. Good hand pass by Williams over to Royal. Back to Williams again. Another beauty coming up there to Deep Pierre Domenico. Over there to Morwood. Morwood goes for a pass out wide, looking for Taylor. It's got a bounce right. It does, but he fumbles. Taps it on now to Waitman. Waitman running to an open goal. Fires. And it's a point. He was off target that time. So they're looking a lot better now. Victoria really putting the pressure on WA. Brilliant breakaway, Lou, on that occasion. Good and play I, on the part of Taylor, yes, too, wasn't it? It was. I thought that Wakeman should have really converted that, and that would have made things pretty interesting. Nine points the difference. Victoria have got to win by at least 35 points, I would say, as the ball goes out there now to Alvin. We've got one a bit high. Comes back now to Healy. They bounce on top of him. Tries to get the ball out. Ball pushed on by Lamb, but he was grabbed. or got one in the back, and Lamb will take the free kick at half-back. 
into this quarter by just on 17 minutes. 17-10, 112 West Australia to Victoria, 18-13, 121. Oh, Williams takes a great mark. He read it well. Lamb going for the short one. Williams drifting across in front to take the mark. He goes looking for Waitman. Hardy over the top, close to the boundary line. He's content to put it out. Time, no problem. Just 16 and a half minutes gone. WA have got to play the percentages at the moment. It's interesting how WA looks so fast, so much more speed for the first two and a half quarters. But in these latter stages, it's Victoria who look pacier. It's one down by Keane. Brereton with a chance now, confronted by Miles. Scrambles a kick down towards the pocket. One out contest and strength wins the day as Taylor gets rid of Glendinning and on his knees takes the mark behind his marker. Well, he's lost sight of where the goals are if he thinks he's going to shoot from there. Yes, he has to come around a little, doesn't he? There's mm. the mark. Glenn Denning really hasn't had a very happy day, has he? No, he hasn't played well. He's had a bad season, uh, Eric. So Taylor but coming. has been a great player. No question. Taylor coming right around now. The right behind him. Brian Taylor with Victoria leading by nine points. It's kick four. And I think he may have just missed to the near side he has. So behind, a lucky reprieve for Western Australia. Victoria 18-14, Western Australia 17-10. 17 and a half minutes gone, final term. It's a grey day in the city now. I suppose that matches the feeling of the supporters as this game is slipping away from Western Australia. Over the fence goes Lester Smith. He got his fingertips to that right on the boundary line and will have a boundary throw in. It's about 50 metres around from the Victorian goal. They're in front by 10 points, but they've got to get a few more goals to win the championship. Knocked out by Keane. He's done a marvellous job on the ruck, that big fellow, and he's pushed it around further. Around about 70 metres around from the uh, Victorian goal. They put up a very good uh, last quarter. The Vic's looking much stronger and running away at this particular stage. Keane uh, Keen again, got the knockdown, picked up by Healy's in trouble, shrugged them up beautifully that time, that's strength, up it goes to the full forward position, there's a chance now for Waterson, takes an easy mark, grabs that there at full back, goes wide, DP at a minute ago and Davidson, they clash, that'll be against the umpire paying the advantage wheels, we see Narkel streak away from his opponent, over it goes now to McNeese, back to Narkel again, over to Buccanara, out there at half forward, a long shot, Peak's got the sit here,